So basically what I would do um, is uh, send you my link. We make the payment and then I get you all set up. Okay. So did okay. you um, have any other questions or are you ready to rock and roll? Uh, ready to rock and roll. Um, so you said that's about, uh, what, 1100 Yes, sir. Okay. So let me, what's your, um, what's your email? KT. So the Vertex Live is the one for two, 2000 Yes, sir. Okay, and then the pro is the one for nine nine hundred ninety seven. It's a thousand. I just give a three dollar uh, discount. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So so yeah. Um. Ideally, um. I think the pro will will probably work best for me and um. To give this a hundred percent, to be honest with you, I, I'm I want to start. I mean, I know the opportunity is now. You know what I'm saying? But just to you know, dedicate a little bit more time and kind of save up a little bit. Um, probably after the first week of July, I can make that happen for sure. So, prior to this call, you did let me know <clears throat> how much money you you had to invest into this business is your main concern um bear with me is your main concern startup capital yes so like i remember you told me you had like 1500 right 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 now yes so the thing is right realistically um every single day that you don't get started, right? So many people are kind of like, one of my favorite quotes is, imperfect action beats perfect in action every single time. So instead of being perfect and instead of having a certain amount of money or so on and so forth, like you will lose out on a lot of money by not just pulling the trigger and taking action. So what we would do, man, look, you, you do have the money set aside. Um, and again, you, have a, you do have a job, right? To where, uh, uh, can we both agree that you're going to have a, 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 pay, a paycheck coming and it's going to continue to coming or is that false? No, that's true. Okay. That's true. So with that's that being true. said, you have replenishable income, right? Now, with that being said, if you did not, it was, this would be a different conversation, but you have, like, you have money coming. Now, the question that I have right now is... What is your money doing for you in your bank account right now? How much money is it making you? How much money is it making you? Here's the answer. Right. Zero dollars, right. right? So with that being right. said, let's take action. Let's not miss out on money, right? There's two types of people. People who say they want to make it happen and people who actually take action and, and don't just talk about one of these dreams and what you told me, you want to go ahead and pursue something bigger, you need the steps necessary, so on and so forth, right? There's those type of people who say it and really don't mean it, which are the people who basically have a never ending cycle. Uh, they really don't achieve anything because they, they always say about it. They're, they're like the, the dreamers. They like to talk about the dream. And then there's people like me and you, which I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe you're that type of person. So I'm saying me and you that you're the type of person where if you say something, you mean it, right? You want to pursue your dreams, right. you want to accomplish that thing, you're, you're going to do that thing. So if I am right, right, you have replenishable income, that's not a problem. You do have the money set aside. Let's pull the trigger. Let's take action right now. After you take action, I'm going to go ahead and get you set up as promised. I believe in integrity. So exactly what I say I'm going to do, I'm going to get that all done for you right now. And then once we get that um, done for you, you take action, rock and rolling, and you're not doing this alone, you're also gonna go ahead and have ongoing training. So I'm gonna be literally okay. walking you like step by step along this journey that you're, that you're pursuing with this. So like, if what you said is true, that you're willing to put in the work, okay. all you need is the opportunity in the vehicle. So either what you told me is not true, or it is true. And if it is true, I mean, we really have nothing else to talk about. Let's rock and roll. Let's 
let's make it happen, bro. Let's make it happen. So you, um, so basically, the the, the Ver, Ver, Vertex Pro. Yep. Um, I'll make that payment tomorrow, one hundred percent. Got you. And then, um, what, what would be stopping us from? I have, you have the link in front of you right now. Right. Well, let's make it happen. When I got. I, I got I gotta go to work right now and then I gotta transfer the funds into this debit account. So Oh, so you don't have uh, you don't have fifteen hundred dollars in one account? Right. Right. So, so, so it's so let's just do this. Uh because I'm a I'm a I'm about integrity, right? And I believe in right. word. And it literally takes I know you gotta go to work right now, but if, if you're a man of your word, right, it takes a very quick time. Let's make the PayPal via payment, or excuse me, the PayPal, the payment via PayPal, which takes a whole 24 hours to actually hit your account. So whatever account you're gonna be uh, making that payment, transfer the funds to that account. So that way, by the time it actually hits your account, it'll, the fund, the funds will be in there. So let's go that route. Okay. Sound cool? Okay. So, so send me, send me the link via PayPal. I'll make that happen. Let me, uh, let me see. Send it, to my, send it to my email. I'll send it to you right now. Okay. We'll knock it out while I got you here. Let me see. Now, once, once I start this, realistically, yeah. minimum, minimum, how many hours a day or would you say a week? Because I'm going to have to dedicate time, which I don't mind doing, but I, I just, you. you know what I'm saying? No, so look, this is me being very transparent. This is how it works. The same 10 hours is the same 10 hours, whether it's done in a day or whether it's done two hours per day in five days. So time is irrelevant, right? Time is irrelevant. Okay. Meaning okay. if you invest 30 minutes per day, like here's the thing, let me, the most important thing is not investing time into this. The most right. important thing is productivity. So yes. somebody putting in 12 hours a day, but when they're on Instagram and they're doing all this bullshit, if you like literally set time aside for this, but like you emer like you fucking go into airplane mode, you block people off, you isolate yourself and you put real productive time in, it's the compound effect. What's more important is productive time and consistency. So it'd be, what, what is more powerful? An unproductive five hours in a day or consistently doing a productive one hours per day for seven days? The productive consistency one hour per day. First and foremost, that's seven hours instead of five. And the, the, the capability of really, realistically being productive for five hours in comparison to like just Focusing and committing to hour, like you're gonna you're gonna be more successful. So, as far as time is a concern, like you're gonna have more than enough time. Uh, you should be able to pu pu pull open the the PayPal app. It'll be easier if I just give you my email. Okay. Or, or you know what? I can do it on the computer. Yeah. One sec. Let's do that. Okay. It, it sent me a notification that it went through. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. So, cool, cool. question: Do you have time for me to walk you through, or did you want to reschedule some time to the onboarding process? Uh, reschedule that. All right, let's go ahead and reschedule that, bro. You just made a fucking decision that's gonna go ahead and change your life, bro. All I've right. been over back. I've been over backwards for my my guys, man. You excited? Yes. Yes. Like you working your nine to five, I need. I want you to think this whole time today. Like I'm not gonna have to do this for much longer. I need you to think that that whole, this whole day. All right, but I'm gonna let you go. I know you're at your job, but let's reschedule, okay? Okay, no doubt. All right, brother. All right. Talk All right. Soon. One. That's how you motherfucking close a thousand dollars. That's how you close it. That's how you close it. A couple of rules that I want to go to teach you guys. Number one is do not let them off the phone. Because as soon as they get off the phone, they have time to sit and think and make reasons on why this isn't the decision that they should be making or to justify. Now guys, this isn't about ethics. Ethics is getting them to buy our product. If you know your product can help them 
solve their problem and get them to whatever their ending goals, wants, and desires are, you are doing an injustice by not selling them your product. So many people are like, I don't want to be too pushy. I don't want to. Listen, you're doing them an injustice. You're doing them an, a, a disservice. You are doing people a disservice if you are not selling your product that is going to help their life. Now, if your product isn't going to go ahead and help change their life, then you're a fucking scammer. Figure out a different product, right? Period. So with that being said, first rule, do not let them off the phone. I'd rather blow a deal by being overly persistent by pushing them to get buy right now than to actually trying to, to saying, yeah, think of, or I'll call you back later. Or even if they say, yeah, um, yeah, let's get off the phone. I'll, I'll, I'll make a payment. Do not let them off the fucking phone. Say, no problem. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you to do what you got to do. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. That is the first rule. Now it's going to feel uncomfortable. I'm telling you this. When I first started doing this, I felt uncomfortable pushing people to that limit. It was like, oh. but always remember, number one, just relax, follow the fundamentals, which is acknowledging their objection, overcoming that objection and asking for the sale. You can't be afraid to ask for the money. Ask for the money. If you don't ask for the money, you don't get paid. You don't get paid. That's what we're here for. We're here to change lives and to get paid doing doing so, right? So, number one, don't let them off the phone. Number two is acknowledge their objection. Overcome their objection and ask for the money. When I say that was a perfectly executed call, and guys, I told you, I, I felt it. I fucking felt it. I felt it. I told you before I even made the call that I was going to fucking smash this. I'm telling you guys, what I teach you fucking works. An hour of my time, $1,000. Making doctors and lawyers money with a college fucking dropout, high school educated, DNF student. We making bankrolls, baby. You don't got to be smart to make a lot of money. You don't got to be educated to make a lot of money. You just need to find your path. Let's fucking go, baby. I'm fired up today. I'm about to make a couple more thousand dollars today. Let's fucking go. So, as stated before, that is how you close down deals. Now, chances are you're actually coming across this video because you're already selling a product. But for those people who are interested in sales but you don't have a product to actually sell, I have an opportunity for you. There's going to be the first link in the description. That's basically what uh, the opportunity that I'm leveraging. It's an affiliate program that allows you to resell their products at 100% commission payouts. So instead of doing high ticket closing and closing other people's products and earning a 20% commission, you can earn up to 100% of each sell using the same skill set and earning five times the income. Click the link down below, learn more about it, hop on those phone calls, close those deals, and thank me later.